Many MPs have lost their seats in Parliament because they had never spoken in the floor of the House. But that has not been the case for Honorable Nasat Muhammad Ture, the Ayawaso East MP. This man has never said a word on the floor of the House, but has won his seat for three consecutive times since 2012. Let's speak to him and find out what has been his secret and what has kept him going on. Some of you who come to parliaments always, you know how the parliamentary procedure is. You can't just wake up and, and start talking. You, you, you talk when the, the matter arises, uh -huh. when there are some, some reasons to talk. Yes, then you wake up and talk. Uh, most of our talking also is at the committee, committee level. Uh, yes, for as a member of parliament uh, since 2012, and we started working 2013 as an MP. For me, today, all I believe is to make sure I work in my community. Today, people are saying, ah, but the MP doesn't talk, but these people, they, they like him. They like him because of what? Because they like me because I do the right thing. Because uh, I'm a servant who came to work for them to make sure I change, I change the, the life of, of my people. Today, if you enter my constituency, uh, it's not about just talking. People, some people, you, you come to parliament, you see them, they make noise. But when you enter in their constituency, you won't see much project. You, won't see, you can't notice some changes. But today, when you come to my constituency, you can identify uh, uh, the number of projects that I have done in my, con in my constituency today. Uh, I'm sure that is the reason why my people continue to vote for me. My, continue, my people think I'm the best person to lead them. So that is the, I'm sure that is the reason why. Oh no, we know that mm. for you to be retained, it means you are doing something right. And it means yeah. that the people like you. Mm. What, what are some of the things you mm. do in your, in your um, constituency? I heard you attend a lot of their gatherings, whether our rape, mm. funerals, you mm. show up mm. all the time, you support them. Mm. But I just want to know, what are you identified for? If you, if you enter Nima today, if you start from I don't know if you know Frankies, all the way from Frankies, Frankies down, you do uh, Nuria down, uh, special the Nima market. The you see, you can see the paving, the pavements, the paving blocks that I before I became MP. Or the whole area is muddy. When it rains, it's to it become muddy. It takes two weeks. You can't even walk, walk to that area. I remember the one pastor at the at the Roman the Roman church said, "Oh, Kizitu. eh?" Saint Kizitu. Says uh, Saint Kizitu said, "Oh, today because of the good work that I did there before when it rained and their members are coming to church from the station before they go to the church they have to." Put water there. People have to wash their their legs. People have to wash their shoes before they enter church. But today, the old area is is paved. It's clean. So from the Nima Market, going to the Ashama Station, when you enter there, you see the difference. You come to the hot coffee. 
hot coffee even before I was born. Especially when it rains, you can you you can't you can't walk there, you can't pass there. If you, uh, cars cannot enter and connect to Kanda Highway, so I did the project from hot coffee all the way to Kanda Kanda Highway, and there was a mosque that closed the road from Kanda Highway. I was able to negotiate with the the owner of the mosque, and. We, I demolished the, the mosque and then open up the road and then put up a new mosque there for them. And from the same area, there is another drain work that I did. All the way is goes to is going to connect to the the main Kaukudi drain. So the project is there. So when you go to down, 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 down there, down there, downside. I don't know if you know Nima downside there. There is a bridge. It's called Naza Bridge. They named the bridge after my name, after me, after me. So when you go there, you see the bridge there. When I came, I said, Ah. So if we can put up a bridge here, so it will be easier for us to connect to Newtown, Newtown Timber Market. So I started like joke. Today it becomes the major, major, major road, major bridge that will that will link you from from my constituency to Newtown, Newtown Timber Market. So, and then I said I said oh, so why not we we brought the idea of Operation Cement all your your, your lungus, all the lungus. So today thank God. At least we haven't finished all, but at least we were able to 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 cement almost about we say about seventy percent done. When you enter the, all the corners, you can see the my my handwork, my idea. When you go to Kanda uh, Ruga, I don't know if you know Ruga. You know Ruga? Yes. When you go to Ruga, you see the new public toilet that I'm, 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 I'm putting up there. It is, it is, it is my, my, my project. The operation cement uh, Yolungu, we extended it to, to, to Ruga. So when you go to Islamic Training, training uh, Institute, the one on the Kanda, Kanda Highway, initially before, it's, it's open. Yes. I came and said, oh, oh, why? We can, we can fence, why can't we fence it? So we fence it. I put up another project in, in there. So today, the place is safe for the kids. Initially, when the kids are from the uh, uh, school, they, when they are crossing, sometimes because it's open, they just they cross anyhow. But now, because of the, the fencing, at least we did a pedestrian that they cross and the traffic light also is there so it's becoming safe and then i have so many social intervention that i did especially when it comes during the the during the ramadan there are so many social interventions that i do help the my mothers my my, my old ladies my my old fathers my brothers my sisters that we do so it's also part of uh, the, the achievement and then education also i'm sure this is uh, you can you can see the one i just i just paid for some people i think about four of them ten thousand 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 one of them is uh, is 800 yeah I well, just pay, pay for some of the students. So these are the, uh, the so we make sure when it comes to education too, we we do s at least we can't do everything, but we we make sure we support the the youth to to go to school. So when it comes to education, especially when the the kids are writing the wasi, we make sure we support them with the mass sets, 
and so on. Sometimes we, we give them books and, and, and others. So I think there is a, uh, so many achievements that my people think I deserve to, to lead them. So that is why some people say, ah, but the MP cry, he's quiet, he doesn't even talk. But why, why does the, the people, the, his people like him? Yes. So they like him because it's not just you come and talk, 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 talk. You don't do, any, you don't do anything in your community. You don't do anything to your people. So that alone cannot make your people to like you. He, they will like you for some reason. How do so they like, how, how do they call you? Do you have a nickname? Is there a way mm. you mingle with them in the constituency? Oh, yes, yes, yes. For, I'm always my mic. Always. You know, even was it the last, or was it the last uh, Saturday? I attended funeral at Setkizito. There's a funeral there. Our, our former chairman died. Uh, sorry, former constituency secretary. I attended the funeral last two weeks or so. One of my uh, special assistant also lost his mother. I'm talking about uh, when you come, my relationship with the. You know we have we have Christians, we have Muslims. We, you understand me, but we jaw jaw to each other. So for my constituency, I'm always I'm visible. I'm always in my constituency. If I don't attend the program, I make sure I I delegate my chairman to to attend the program, especially how uh, outdoors uh, passing out especially the passing out, there are many. So funerals, any program, I make sure, I make sure I, I deliver. Yes. Well, that is impressive, but I want to ask you, I know it came to a breaking point for you when there was a violence in Nima yeah, yeah. in regards to yeah, yeah. some hoodlums. How, mm. how did you get feel about the whole thing and what, what are your comments? Yes, the issue, even though it has been it has been resolved. Uh, we, we all know uh, Nima used to, years back, people say, oh, Nima, Nima is a violent area, people this and that. Some people do think so, uh, especially the taxi drivers. Those days, years back, when you, when you want to come to Nima, you stop taxi, they don't want to come. Uh -huh. But today, Nima is one of the peaceful areas. Even though there's incident that that happened the other time, uh, um, it it has been resolved. And then uh, some after some years back, about ten years ago, we used to have the the watchdog. Uh -huh. The watchdog, they are also very very helpful for the community. But along the line, they don't fashion again. They stop working. So this time we we'll make sure we revive them. Uh -huh. With the watchdog, we'll be able to. To dismantle all the ghettos that we have, uh -huh. the ghettos also they are part of those who are creating problem. So we make sure all the ghettos have been dismantled because some most of some of them they don't live in Nima. They come from far places uh -huh. because of the when they come to Nima they say they have some some gate bases, some ghettos. Uh -huh. So they come there and, and, and do some bad things and go back. So people think all those things that are happening it is in Nima, but it, it, is, it is not from Nima. They are not from Nima guys. Uh, they come and go. So we are trying to make sure this time we work on that to make sure that you, you won't allow you to come from far place and then come and spoil our name. So we are, make, we, we, we are making sure that we we stop all those things. We make sure that all the ghettos have been have been no more, doesn't exist anymore, so that you won't come there and get any bad things to smoke or whatever. So we are working on that. Everything in Nima has improved from roads to yes. education to yes. how, how did it happen? How did it work? I know you you coach for for you being in parliament for close to. Yeah. Almost twelve years. Yeah. You've been in parliament for the next twelve years. Mm -hmm. Let me please. How how did you how did you resolve? Did you engage people, chief oh. imams, stakeholders, and how do you? 
I do hold meetings with the with the chiefs because the, our chiefs also they are playing a very very wonderful role. Our chiefs, uh -huh. because most of the uh, the 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 intervention that we 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 do in Nima, like uh, like a forums, we do we we do involve chiefs. They come and they also talk to the the mothers, the parents. Uh, we do talk to them through the I mean the forum or any gathering. Uh, we make sure we we give the chiefs the advantage, the, you know, some little chance to talk to the to the parents. I think it has it, it has also played a very good role to that's why we are seeing some level of changes in Niba, not like like before. Now most of the youth today, I think, they want to go to school. So I, so I remember when I before the election, I went to house to house. I went every house. So every house we go, I I tell them, I educate them. If you have a, a daughter, or you have a son who want to go to school and you can't afford it, come to my office. Yes, I will I will support you. To make sure we pay the fees, fees for you. So all those things also, it has it has been so helpful. So I think most of the the kids today they want to go to school. The the those who doesn't doesn't or the parents who cannot afford it. That's why we advise them. Come, come, we will help you. Yes, because some of them they, they, they you can see that the 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 kids want to go to school, but the parents and are. Uh, can't afford to pay the fees so if you 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 are in such situation come we'll help you so that is also playing a very good role for us so i think uh, i would say we are we are what we are progressing uh, inshallah we are progressing we've left your constituency mm. you are now in parliament i mean is a member of the mm. committee part of the committee for mines and, Mines and energy. energy yes yes we are, would you say we are in crisis looking at our mm. recent fall hikes and what's going on in this country? I think I don't need to give details, but mm. what's your take and what's happening under the Akufuadu led government? In terms of oh, for I don't need to say uh, Akufuadu has failed, but everybody, Ghanaians have seen that Akufuadu has failed. He can't do anything, they are even confused. They don't know the direction that they are they are moving. They don't know, so they sh that's why we said that they should they should come. I remember uh, JM told them, John Mama told them, His Excellency John Ramama, he told them that time that you have never been there. You people, you think it's, it's, it's easy? If it is a uh, kufu uh, or a uh, then it was if it's a kufo or anybody who is a former president you will understand the person but you people you have never been there you can make noise 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 today you okay you are a vice president today you are a uh, uh, doc, <laughs> dr mahmoud baumia you are the president today uh, vi, you are the vice president today akufado you are the president today what are we seeing today no action no show Everything is standstill. Honestly, even our we MPs, our common funds, third quarter, fourth quarter. Now we are almost end of the first quarter. You have we you haven't paid. So how can the the country move forward? How can we develop the nation? So I don't need to talk much. Ghanaians have seen it that <laughs> NPP government has filled Ghana. That's it. We are currently at the Ayawaso East constituency. We want to speak to the constituent what they make of their MP silence in the chamber. 
Is he working on the ground? Or they are worried about his silence? Join us as we speak to some of them. Tayawa so is today yeah. because of your MP. Yeah. He's been in parliament since 2012. He hasn't spoken in the floor before. Yeah. But you keep voting for him. He's been there in 2012, 2016, and in 2020. We want to find out what's the secret. Why do you keep voting for him even though he's not actively speaking in parliament? You know, Honorable Nasser Mama Ture is somebody, he believes in action. And since he came 2012, 2013, Magnada, if you go to Nima market, he came there and he put pavement blocks. He went to the Nima market and the Nima Medina station, hot coffee area, all he put pavement. He went to the hospital, he, he provided them ambulance, he provided them the radar, the big plant. He went to Nima police station, he provided them the plant. He built a general hospital in Nima. And he, though he didn't complete the trial, but he did reach some place before this government who came and completed it. And the education to be given scholarship, many, 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 many scholarships. And moreover, the Nima operation, Smith Yo, Lungu, he have done all. Before Nima, you can't pass inside Nima, but now Nima, when there's rain, you, there is no problem. The water is moving, flowing, you have no problem. So to talk in Parliament and you don't need energy to your constituency, no, we are not talking about your graduate, no, it's action, what you have done for your community. So Nima, we believe in action. So you have done law, even the street light, all corner in Nima, all. It was Magnaza. So we will be keeping voting for him because he's doing well. So when somebody says, why you don't speak in Parliament? No, we see some people speaking in Parliament, but if you go to their constituency, they didn't do anything to their people. So we love Magnaza, we like him, and he's been doing well. So I think this is some of the things I've been telling you. I am the one, every project in Nima, all these projects, all from one to date. I am the one who is supervising all. So my brother, we love him. Even when he stands 10 times, we vote him for 10 times because he's doing well. We, we don't want somebody graduate to know. Just do what we will like. If you do, then we'll be voting for you. It's not about talking in the parliament. When in your area you are doing well, that's all. So if so, people are saying he's not doing well at parliament, it doesn't mean he's, doing, he's not doing in his selected area. He's doing well in our entire area. He introduced me to Olungu and some many things to the assemblymen. And we use that one, that opportunity when taking the step. So if somebody said, Mark Naza is not speaking at the parliament, it's not about speaking at the parliament be the issue. Working in your community, that's the issue. What are some of the projects he has done apart from the operation? Or oh, even when you go to our streets, he has done well to us. And normally when there's the train for, we can't work. So Magnaza came, so we saw the difference, big difference. Do you, if he contests again, I do think he will retain him. And not, when can he lose his vote? Not, nothing, will, nothing will let him lose. Nothing. Forward the advice, backward Nima. I'm the assemblyman of Nima West, uh, Nima West Electra area. My name is Awule Tulu, nothing will let him lose. Because we have voted for many people, nothing we see. But for Magnaza, at least we can show one or two things on behalf of Magnaza. It's not here for me, but I can show the project for me. But the many uh, MPs who pass, who can show their project? So if they say it's not talking, we don't need this talking at the parliament. We need the effort in the electoral area. Honorable Nasa, me, I don't call him Nasa, I call him MTN everywhere you go because his name is Mohammed Turi Nasser. So I shot it MTN because of the phenomenal job that he has been doing for us, the development that he brought in our community since he became the MP. Once of, first of all, Honorable Nasser is a listening leader. Listening leader to the extent when you see something at the, at the grassroots level and you draw his attention, he will tell you, go check what do we need to, 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 to make to get solution for it and then you will do it. You understand? So let's 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 make a little analysis. When you have MP that talks and speaks uh, that speaks louder in parliament, and then it doesn't bring any development in his community. And the one that brings development in the community without talking in parliament, you yourself, which one will you choose? You go for the one who who, who, who make who always have development in the community. One and one people one thing people don't know or have to know is everything in parliament is about whips and committee. If Honorable Nasser happened to be the vice chairman of Mines and Energy in, in Parliament, then we should thank God that we are we, and then be proud of our MP. 
being the vice chairman, he has a recognition. But the fact that you don't talk in parliament, in parliament, talking in parliament, we have sector of people who does it. We have the chief, we have the, uh, the majority leader. So why then do we supposed to see our MP on television talking before we, 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 we are satisfied with his being MP? Me, I'm okay with this. It's okay, and then and not me alone. A lot of environs. I'm a youth advocate. I'm, a, I'm into, 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 into the youth. I moved through the MPP, the NDC, the PNC, and even I can tell you as a matter of fact, the MPP constituents in, in our constituency vote for MP because uh, for Honorable Nazim because of his phenomenal job that he's doing. So it's a, it's a man we can trust. He promised and he delivered. You understand? He promised and he delivered. So Honorable Nazim, I think, unless he decides not to go, he is our best choice as MP because since ever since he became the MP, we've seen a, a, a lot of development compared to the previous MPs that we had in this constituency. If he doesn't speak in parliament, it doesn't mean that he doesn't do the good work at this area. He has been doing the good work at his area. That's why he has been winning, always. So what are some of the things he has done for you to win? Uh, especially when you come to Nima, first of all, when you pass the corners, you can see, first, it was very dirty. They put baller at any place, but now, if rain falls, you can pass anywhere at any time. You are not afraid of anything. Yes. So, with this, if he stands again, is this someone you uh, He has a chance to win. He has a chance to win because of the good work he has been doing. That's why I say he has the chance to win. So, if you, you vote for him again? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I Thank mean, you. at his back. But when he doesn't do the right thing, I'll say he, he knows me already. Because the and if I hear Jumana on Casa, I know the interest of a Juma. So, the Jumantina, yet to Mano, because what by and this is a upper men came on high and young fans say Nima be or no way, you know, this is a bimbi bree. Because first, the coin we know now got it down into Nipper Bray and Sana, cast crying to me for her. But what by and I ja. So, Nessendia, the main thing is to be So, into no one interest, say, be a on Cassano, or age, or age, my pa, so a bony pa, send the any pa, who throw up, or conning china, or no so, or tea, or to me, tea, any pa, so frena, or no so send the a crowd, or one or meeting my bony pa. Tina, no dear, and yet one year bad one who say, and put to a name, send the one who nipa more bronze, and you do one year. Yes, I be Magana Parliament take a win seat in Shishini. Skin Zango Mungani, Moko and Lungu Kabiduka. Yas a cement co and Lungu. Even Kanda Estate Dukaya can street in Dukaya Gege Garena in the Yai Ababe day was schools, Yaja J schools, Yabada uniforms, the table and chess, the Ababe day was. Da kaswa muna ni ma da anka chiga kaswa ni ma la ka la ka adere ba ka kabiti kin kaswa ma yonzo a kanga di kaswa ni ma ka chiga ka ka itafia ka ka kwanza kuhina magene ndeki nengi. Member of Parliament for Ayawa, so His Honourable Alaji Naza Mahamatuwe did say emphatically that his silence in the House did not connote irresponsibility on the ground. We spoke to the constituents and they seem, he seems to have earned his position amongst the people and they are satisfied with his work. They shared his success story and they are very happy of what he's done so far. I am Nima Tiyakubo Atoyese reporting for Ghana Web.